the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been in sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, through my fault, through my most great fault. Therefore, I ask the Spirit of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you'll bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Sirach 51, 12-20. I thank the Lord and I praise Him. I bless the name of the Lord. When I was young and innocent, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a grape soon ripe. My heart delighted in her. My feet kept to the level path. Because from earliest youth I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed. I met with great instruction. Since in this way I have profited. I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became resolutely devoted to her. The good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate. And I came to know her secrets. I directed my soul to her. And in cleanness I attained to her. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm the precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. Enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure. Enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true. All of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup, or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly giving thanks to God the Father through him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. 
Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said. If we say, of heavenly origin, he will say. Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say, of human origin? They feared the crowd. For they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, but pray for the Lord of the May this salvation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our candle closer to the light of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory. As without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Theodore, in the year 428, in a beautiful writing on the Eucharist, he said, It is proper, therefore, that when Christ gave the bread, he did not say, This is a symbol of my body but said, This is my body. In the same way when he gave the cup, he did not say, This is a symbol of my blood, but this is my blood. For he wanted us to look upon the Eucharistic elements after their reception of grace and the coming of the Holy Spirit, not according to their nature. We ought not regard the Eucharistic elements merely as bread and cup, but as the body and blood of Christ, into which they were transformed by the descent of the Holy Spirit. At first is laid upon the altar with mere bread and wine mixed with water, but by the coming of the Holy Spirit it is transformed into the body and blood of Christ, and thus is changed into the power of a spiritual and immortal nourishment. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, interwilling into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. The 
mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Amen. Lamb of God, do you take Amen. away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, do you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, do you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my grave. For those who say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. <laughs> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.